Hello, my name's Daniel. Today, we're reading Sweep by Louise Grieg and Julia Sada. So get comfy and I'll begin. Ed in a good mood is a very nice Ed. Ed in a bad mood is not. And Ed was in a bad mood. Not one of those tiny whirlwinds in the teacup that blow over before they've even begun. No, this mood swept over him in a raging storm and stuck. It began as something small, really small, hardly a thing at all. But before Ed knew it, the something had grown, gathered pace and swept him off down a path. Ed's bad mood thought this was a wonderful idea. But the things that got in Ed's way did not. Ed knew perfectly well when he had gone far enough, but he could not bring himself to say, OK, that will do. So on he stormed a bit further and a bit further still, until suddenly the whole thing became bigger than him. Of course, if Ed had looked up, he would have noticed the beautiful things, the things that always made his heart sing. But he refused to lift his eyes. The ground was a lot more interesting, or so his bad mood told him. Everything seemed against him, but that just made him even more determined. He dug in his heels and kept going. Just Ed and his bad mood. Is this really worth it? He asked himself. Yes, his bad mood decided, though Ed did wonder a little. Now his bad mood has swept through the whole town. The birds have stopped singing. The flowers have disappeared. This whole thing was affecting everyone and everything. Good, thought Ed's bad mood. But really, Ed was beginning to wish it had all blown over like a whirlwind in a teacup. Everything grew dark and Ed was getting tired and hungry. He was finding it harder and harder to keep this up. Surely he could not give up now. Not when he'd gone to all this trouble. That would be crazy. But something had to change. And then something did change. A new wind whipped up. It began as something small, really small, that became bigger, bigger than Ed. Suddenly, everything looked different. The world looked brighter. For a moment, Ed felt rather silly. Had he really gone to all that effort for nothing? But at least it had cleared the air. It had blown something his way, something that made him look up. It lifted his mood higher and higher up to the sky. And suddenly he noticed beauty all around him. It swept him away. As for his bad mood, it vanished into thin air. Now, when it looks as if Ed might, just might, spiral into a bad mood and sweep down that path again, he thinks twice. His first thought is, will I? And his second thought is, or not? Thanks for listening. See you next time.